I'm actually the son of public servants. My mother is an educator in the New York City Department of Education. My father works for the United States Postal Service. So service has really been at the crux of my family's core. Um, and because of that, I decided to go into education as well. Um, I also have uh, two sisters and a brother and a, a loving and charming son. And I have an Airedale Terrier. Ah, Dr. Spence is pretty boring, <laughs> but I like to I like to read, I like to travel, I like to uh, ride my bike when applicable, and I'm a huge basketball fan. So, go Bulls and now go Orangemen. I grew up in New York City, Harlem to be exact, on the west side of Manhattan, in a really rich, diverse neighborhood. Proud to be from Harlem. Um, it really contributed to who I am today. Depends on who you're asking, no. <laughs> um, I, I was a really, really um, curious student, really loquacious, very curious. I really loved to, um, I could sit and look at an encyclopedia all day. I love to learn. I love to really engage and debate and really think about some of the um, larger issues that plagued our society. So always had a keen interest in sociology and problem solving and equity. So, you know, for, the, for most of my academic career in K-12, really was um, centered around, you know, being fulfilled through English class and social studies and classes that would lend itself to that, that type of discourse. Graduated from Middletown High School in Middletown, New York. And my mother is an educator and through the work that she did, I really got to see how she was able to improve student outcomes. You know, ironically, I ended up graduating from the University at Buffalo with some of the students that she taught in elementary school. So I was able to see how she was able to transform lives and help impact career trajectories through education, and she really instilled that value within me. Um, I've been in education my whole life. When my mother was pursuing her graduate studies, I was in class with my mother. You know, um, I would go in the summers to change her classrooms around and help her move as she was transitioning to different classrooms. So I've been around education my entire life and it's been something that, you know, I, it's been dear to my heart. The University at Buffalo, go Bulls! So I went to the University of Buffalo for my graduate studies, but I, for undergrad I went to Hilbert College, so go Hawks. Um, was also a cross country captain there a long time ago, but um, really got to hone my studies when I transitioned to graduate school, going um, at the University of Buffalo, where I was able to move from um, more of the pedagogical, technical aspects of teaching, and then into some of the research-based studies that I, I, I grew to love. I have been classically trained by SUNY Distinguished Professor Dr. Lois Weiss, qualitatively and quantitatively, to research and investigate simple questions that have very, very complex answers. I have been trained to examine stratification within systems and the ways in which that stratification or layering is reproduced in our broader society, with a particular focus on racial, gender, and socioeconomic inequities. I started professionally teaching. I've always been a teacher in some capacity. But I started professionally teaching at the Harlem Children's Zone in New York City, straight out of college as an English language arts intervention specialist. Uh, I'm a New Yorker by heart. The, all of my schooling has occurred in New York State. The bulk of my professional experience has occurred in New York State in varying contexts, urban and suburban. I really like New York State's framework for success, and I really love the, the focus that New York has on achievement, equity, and enrichment, and I think it's a really great place to learn and grow. I believe a great superintendent is one that can inspire, lead, and really provide the vision needed to take an organization five to ten steps forward. There are a bunch of technical aspects to the job. You know, you're dealing with budget, you're dealing with human capital management, you're dealing with the structure of an organization. But without having the ability to inspire, to lead, or to provide that vision, 
it becomes that much more challenging to do and enact that work. So as I think of the superintendency, I think of a visionary, I think of someone who's fearless, who has the courage to make difficult decisions, but also can imagine what's seemingly impossible at the moment and make that possible through strategy and collaboration. So again, when I'm looking at this role more broadly, it's really being that, that chief executive officer that's gonna provide the vision and leadership necessary to move the system forward to, so that it reaches its full potential which is to educate all students, irrespective of their background, so that they can reach their full potential. Being a father influences the work because when you're a parent, you see the system from a very different vantage point. I think coming in when I was a young teacher, I could see the, I could understand education from a very school-centric point of view. I understood what I needed to be successful in my classroom, the type of collaboration I need from parents, but I also didn't have another view of what it was like to engage with the system on another end. So I think that when you become a parent or you become a consumer or of, a, of anything, it gives you a different lens to look at you know, system performance and organization, the ways in which the organization is able to service the community and its members and the children within it. And so it really sort of, um, it's a shift in consciousness for your thinking because it, it, it challenges you to think about your decisions and the impact of those decisions in very nuanced ways that you may or may not have if you didn't have that perspective yourself.